Hey guys, name's Fen. <laughs> no fancy intro today. Look hey, at that crab go. This time... Why don't you go eat that instead? This time, I'm going into the mind of a lungfish. Oh, poor little thing. Yep. Let's do it. Our first mind is not quite what we may expect. Top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Ah! Oh, Gagala! <laughs> How's that for a start, eh? <laughs> I told you things are about to start getting crazy. Now, I am Demigodzilla, here to bust a rap and contain the greatest MC ever known to man, Ryu Tiger-chan. So, <laughs> this is one fish off the list. Yeah, Palm Megabomb. So, press it a bunch of times, you go like... And that's what happens, except different because I'm freaking Godzilla now, or Gogalore. Ha! <laughs> this is just the... This is a great, great level. I mean, I will... Just to get it out of the way, it is kind of annoying because you move slowly and certain... one Certain powers are disabled because you're heavy. But even so, the concept just is so awesome that it doesn't even freaking matter. <laughs> hey, Gogalor! Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So, hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gargalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! <laughs> it just gets better. Get me past those gates. Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing, nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No, uh, maybe one guy would. 
But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore, for freedom! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the shield. I, I couldn't help myself just laughing. I still laugh at that. It's, I mean, I played this so many times. <laughs> These comments are hysterical. <laughs> Hold on, that wasn't the orphanage. Well, good. Okay. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Guggalore. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. <laughs> yes. Oh, so, no! It tanks. was the orphanage! For dogs! It was the puppy orphanage, everyone! Oh, oh no! Don't hurt him. <laughs> yes. And I'm immune to certain things. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Yeah, that's like the first time I've ever encountered luggage to which this I don't guy needs a have the tag. tag. It's weird. But, but, but yeah. So, this is just like basically Godzilla. But Psychonauts is pretty awesome. It is annoying. Like, you can shoot the tanks if you want. It takes more than one shot, so you basically just want to run up and hit them, but... Oh, it's the shield. I want to use the shield power. So you'll want to use shield, I guess, is what they're trying to tell you. As I've already freaking forgotten, but yeah, <laughs> no, uh, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going for all figments. I don't, I don't know. Like this, this, this level's fun to play the first time because it's funny and stuff, and there's funny events that happen. But when you're going back for figments, it's one of those things. It's just kind of slow because it is slow to walk, and, no, and there's tanks not everywhere. The Natural and, History Museum. Yeah, nobody cares about that. And, 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 yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things, I do like it, it's just, it, it, does, it doesn't carry itself, like, it's carried by its concept and, and the events and stuff, and, you know, if you're just playing it to play it, the gameplay doesn't hold up as well because of your sort of slight crippledness. But, uh, that's okay, this game has very little to complain about, so... I'm certainly not going to complain too loudly about having to complain quietly, okay? Okay. Let's rev the vehicle of our dreams up to 7,000 RPM and get some nice pull, by which I mean break people out of prison. Yeah. This is the, like, hey man, you don't always get handed tags on a silver platter type level. It's, it's the, you got to do a thing first. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. That's some hella nice flight physics. Oh my god, I am convinced up the wazoo here. Uh, also, I'm sure his plan is completely excellent. What are you even talking about? Well, that's a duffel bag tag. Oh, hey, it's a cobweb. I didn't even know this. Let's get those spiders out of our house and relocate them outside. And by outside, I mean spider hell. Not sure if these tanks are infinite or not. But I'm not really caring enough to find out, so yeah. Oh, we've all seen that, come on. You know, if this weren't so dark and hypnotized and stuff, this would be a pretty good tropical location. Notice I can stand in the... Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gogalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. 
Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you kind of do that. Uh, the, the, the theory is that you reflect uh, the, the lightning back because your shield is like a mirror, you see? It's just a fancy way of saying a mirror, but then it goes away and then you're doomed! Doomed! I'm gonna sing the Doom song now. Oh yeah, and also you can climb buildings. That's something I forgot to mention. <laughs> it's quite entertaining, I guess. I've never actually seen the original Godzilla movie or any Godzilla movies because I'm a whippersnapper, so... I, I just... I just assume that maybe he climbs buildings, but that could be King Kong. I think Godzilla might be a bit big to be climbing buildings. It's so <laughs> he needs to grow up and stop being such a kid and stop climbing buildings. He needs to be an adult and start Please don't kill me, God and start killing people and eating them and 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 you know other such very serious things with no sense of humor whatsoever. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer Navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolor. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets which it guarantees are 100% monster proof. Not get caught stealing children. <laughs> this this Kochema writing is some of the best in the game. I mean, this, this, this. oh crap. crap. This is actually a serious threat. Like most of the stuff in this game is not that difficult, but that actually takes after a lot of health. Just saying. Also, this. Level seems to be crashing a lot more than usual, so if I end up with figment counts that don't match my other count, well, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> also... Oh, it's so <laughs> it's like completely violent. Look at that blood. It's ridiculous. Bodily fluids are all very silly, you understand. Come on. Ha, now you see the genius of our plan, Gogolore. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. <laughs> I tell you, man. This is absolutely just brilliant, but I shouldn't need to tell anybody that, and if I do... Well, there's gonna be absolute heck to pay. Nothing can stop him. I want I wanna hear some more different lines from them villagers. Rather than just ones that are not completely hilarious, but merely mildly amusing. Okay, well let's come up with our own plan. Knock it off! No! I'm not gonna knock it off. You are very annoying and, and don't help no. me. Because why wouldn't you help what a are giant you doing monster? Up there? Stupid, ungrateful wretches. <laughs> okay, well, this is like the silliest part of the level. By silly, I don't mean silly. I mean like you go all the way to this side and you collect your reward. Da -da -da -da, and then you hope you have the tag for this guy, but you don't, I'm sure, because I'm sure you get it later. You have to come all the way back and you're just gonna walk. What? And I hate walking. That's why I don't have a car anymore. Ugh. You see, sometimes it's not so nice being Discord. The footprints you make. This is so well done. I mean, most games would just be like, oh, well, let's see, what's our game style? Okay, here's our style. Let's just stick with it. But this game's like, no, every single level is completely different and completely thorough. Like, there's no half-assing any of this. It's just, I mean, the amount of effort they must have spent on every single level here is, like, equal to the amount of effort that you'd expect somebody to spend on, like, a whole game or something. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but, I mean, the totally different designs all the time and different mechanics and everything. Ah, oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, yeah, you just kind of climb up and you get figments. Like I say, this level 
really stands on the strength of its comedy and not its gameplay. Not that the gameplay is that bad, but it, it it's not, you know, as smooth and and delightful as some of the others. You know, like I say, reasons and, and stuff, so I, I suppose I'll just sort of not dawdle around too badly. <laughs> but I am very good at dodging. I won't dawdle, but I'll dodge. Or there's two ways to get over to this place. I guess I'll go on both for some reason. Because I like my helicopter figgy piggies. Pigs and helicopters. Sounds like a Miyazaki movie. But don't psh, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm over here. <laughs> yes. Oh, these guys. Oh, hey. Lungfish in the bottle. Oh, well. <laughs> Is this how lungfish actually do? Because how would it even swim? I don't think lungfish... Because if they lived in bubbles, they wouldn't be able to swim. They'd have to flop around. It would look stupid. Also, I'm pretty sure they don't have TV. But hey. Oh. Some kind of crazy doctor that we've seen. And some kind of crazier guy behind him with a monocle, possibly, that we've seen. Wow, that's... <laughs> it's just an amazing job. Look at Coach. He's all, like, pleased with everything. Go forth, my minion. Oh, that is interesting. <laughs> well, I wonder where the other one is, though. I, I don't think it would be farther, because, spoiler, this level's actually pretty short. And we're already, like, fairly close to the end, I guess. So, actually, I don't have time to react, because of all the... Because of... Because... Because you don't have time to react when you need to have time to react because of how slow you move, you know what I'm saying. Come on. That's not even fair! Yeah. Yeah, this is just like a war zone. It, it is what it is. Your tank. What? You have a tank? That's hilarious. I've never heard that before. Why would that be? I don't know. Anyway, the unbridled imagination continues, though, in the game. I mean, as everybody knows, I just like to constantly babble about it and praise it all the time because I gotta praise it like I should because it's really good, even though it's repetitive. But well, let's playing is kind of repetitive. You do one video that gets a billion views, and then your second one gets a tenth of the amount of views for some reason. So I guess maybe. People just don't like to watch an entire series. I don't know, man. It's pretty weird. But this is clearly the better way. Look, you get to bust up trains. It's a fucking awesome. <laughs> Chain blast. Oh yeah, that's that's an awesomely fun one. I'll show that off at some point when I have enough enemies to show it off with. Oh come on, this is gonna be one. nope, not one of those at all. Still don't know where that other tag is. Maybe I maybe I got the yellowy hat box tag for that hat guy. We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore! I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. <laughs> Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. And to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we, uh... uh... We just think it best to do where... Uh, uh, we've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogolor. Yes, that, and for freedom. <laughs> okay, this is, this is kind of a part... Anyways, uh, the <laughs> I just I just love those little interludes with Kochamas. Freaking amazing. Also, scene is slightly undermined by the comedic crying of a lovable duffel bag. 
or whatever. So finish that. You, you pretty much just gotta climb the towers and kill the planes. You can see there are eight of them left and they've got bat wings because bat ponies are so cute! And you're liable to just kind of constantly get knocked off and killed. Doesn't really matter because this game's ultra forgiving. Even if you die, you've got so many lives that it really barely even matters, so... Yeah, oh hey, wow, my chain shot took care of like freaking five of them right off the bat. Right off the bat. I offed the bat because they got bat. Get it? Well, I'm gonna die. But then I'm just gonna come right back. Possibly the planes might respawn then though, so... I don't know, I can't remember. I'm gonna try not to die though. Oh, hey. Okay, now back to war. Oh, come on, see, it's, it's like bordering on the unfair, really. I don't know. But one of them seems to have killed itself, possibly by flying into me. I don't know, it's just weird. This this fight is just really odd. It's it kind of plays itself sometimes, and basically just try your best, and things will kind of work out most of the time. <sighs> You're not underwater, Raz, so stop acting like a fool. I gotta get this figment. It's a truck on a boat. Crazy. No, planes don't respawn, so really, there's very little chance of you, like, permanently dying anywhere in this game. I don't think, I don't know if there is such a thing as a game over, but I've never, ever encountered one, seriously. So, maybe I should even just try to see what it looks like, but I don't think I'll do that, because who would ever want to do that? Seriously, it's a complete waste of time. Oh, what? Ugh. Okay, planes, just get over here. I'm tired of the likes of you, okay? Freedom! Alright. <laughs> Brain blimp. Everybody knows that popular brand. Alright. Uh oh Yeah, this water is, of course, deeper. Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent lung-faced navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogolore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't drool so much. <laughs> Given up telling them to kidnap children and are now just airing your annoyances like the dirty, disgusting, dryer containing contents they are. Give up while you can, Gogalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kochamara does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Ram! <laughs> this is an amazing fight. This level is just all comedy, pure comedy. Just all stuffed up in here like a freaking donut of funny that doesn't make any sense but yeah anyway i love that i love that one guy when everybody's cheering where he's just like where he's just like yay <laughs> funniest thing ever and it's just a tiny little moment hmm so 
Sasha's showed you how to save up your aggressive energy, huh? Well, why don't I help you let it all out? I didn't use any aggressive energy. I just redirected yours. Stupid. <laughs> they just went crazy. That's 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 the kind of a shame to play this level's kind of annoying. But oh just the writing. I mean the whole game's writing is great, but no. Yeah. I don't know. This fight is a fight. Yeah, there's nothing too. Yeah, this, this, I guess this level speaks for itself, is what I'm trying to say. You barely even need my annoying commentary. You know, just play it and everything else would just amuse you forever. Overly intricate combination! Yeah. People of Lunfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. <sighs> Finally. Okay, Tower. Get ready for Gogalore. <laughs> okay. You guys probably don't notice because I've skillfully edited around it, but there have been all kinds of crashes here so far. So that's why I'm saving, which I'm not going to skillfully edit around because I don't know why. Maybe I will, and this won't make any sense. control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> <sighs> Good one. Lungfish, you know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. 
What a magical lady. Well, that will be it. My annoying commentary has caused the game not to speak for itself, and I've been repetitive and silly, so next time is my favorite level. But until then... Well, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.